in the beginning when the earth was young and we could all speak the same language, there was a, a village of people that lived in the mountains. And this one man who didn't have any sons, but he had seven daughters. The daughters are seed carriers, so they're the ones who give life. So they're really, really loved by their fathers. And this father warned those children, don't be going over there to that side of the forest because there's creatures there that, you know, they could eat you or another tribe could steal you. Play around here, be happy with playing here. Oh no, the older daughter wanted to go and she took the other sisters with her, even the little, little nana. And so they go off into the forest and they're playing and they're having a good time. All of a sudden, this giant bear comes out of nowhere. And, and the girls are scared to death. They're just standing there shivering. And finally, the little one says, run! And they run and they run and they run. And they find this huge cedar tree in the middle of the woods. And they start to climb it. And they climb to the very top. And in this fear of being eaten by this giant bear, the little sisters hold hands and they begin to pray greater help us save us don't let us be eaten this way we love our father and so the girls hold hands and this giant cloud comes out of the sky and it lands on top of the tree and all of a sudden the girls get lifted up into the sky well the bear is getting angry down there and he's trying to rip down this tree and he's just clawing and clawing and clawing and trying to get those little girls and he can't do it because they've been lifted up into the sky and they begin to to sing and dance and they go so high into the sky that they're still visible and you call it Pleiades or the seven sisters <laughs> and that's how they got up there we thank you. Thank you. Delay line uh, building. It's 670 feet long. We can get the left out of the entry on, on wheels from the outside. So at 20 miles an hour, we would immediately claim the nearest set of piers and bolt it down. If they think it's going to hit 20, they won't even trot. So if our scheduled time for a configuration change comes on a day when it's windy, we'll just not do it. Uh, the reason we have to change configurations is that when you're doing interferometry, like right now we have our highest resolving power possible with the BLA. We're spread out the widest. All the ones don't have that, or no, no, they do. They do have that. But they also do it on their sub reflector. did not ask you to sign a guest book. He would hand you a chisel and hammer and say, cut your name, chisel your name into one of the telescope piers over here.
I walked in the door the first time and I was immediately, I was like, holy, you know, I was like, you got the ultimate telescope man cave. There is nothing, yeah. it's just beyond belief. <laughs> Tell you and we'll show you. We'll wait for everybody to get in. Yeah, sure, have a seat if you wish. Yes. As it was, it took Dora Hoflight as an old lady to tell me that when I was like 17 or 18 years old. And she, further, she said, she said, John, if you want to continue in astronomy, there's always, always more work to be done. So you've got to want to work for the work's sake. And if you keep that attitude, um, you will find a place for yourself. Because there are never enough people fundamentally interested to pursue it uh, and engage. So we're going to draw names and Judy's going to give you your door prize. Hey, want something. There you go. Okay, next is a VLA travel mug. Peter Eschman. Peter. Yay, Pete. Thank you. Earl Wilson. Earl. <laughs> Can I trade for a different color? I don't know. I think he looks good in pink. <laughs> All right. Zero six three. <laughs> and your name is? Um, John Gates. John Gates. <laughs> what did I get? <laughs> Not your okay. stargazing kit. Oh, wow. And we need your picture, Mary. <laughs> so you go stand over by New Mexico True. <laughs> it might be telling you, I'm not sure. One zero seven, hundred and seven. Right. One oh seven. I love that magazine. And almost as many beads as there are stars. <laughs> <laughs> and the number is oh, it's mine. Uh, six oh seven. Six zero seven. Six zero seven. That's it. That's all, folks. Thank you very much. Okay, star stories are gonna start at seven fifteen. In the beginning, when the earth was young and we could all speak the same language, there was a, a village of people that lived in the mountains.